I just got a neck massage after two years of concussion and now I feel crazy sick and lightheaded. Now, if any of you have had persistent concussion symptoms and have had any type of treatment following that, uh, particularly on the neck and it's made you worse, um, there's a good reason for that. Now, it also tells you something interesting about your condition. If the symptoms become worse following neck treatment, that obviously tells you that your neck can cause a lot of the same symptoms that you experience with concussion. And actually, this was a study that I did in partnership with the University of Buffalo a few years ago as we looked at patients with persistent whiplash symptoms and patients with persistent concussion symptoms, and we tried to see if we could tell the difference between them. And we actually could not. The symptoms of whiplash or neck dysfunction, neck injury, are the exact same as the symptoms of concussion. And one of the best treatments for people with persistent concussion symptoms is treating the neck. And the reason is because the symptoms are likely not due to the concussion anymore and the treatment of the neck can alleviate the symptoms that they're experiencing. So things like headache, dizziness, nauseousness, even confusion, blurred vision, all this stuff. And actually what we looked at in our study, we found that there was absolutely no difference between concussion and whiplash on things even like vision. Blurred vision, dis uh, blurred vision visual disturbances, balance impairments, uh, cognitive function issues, uh, memory impairments, all the things that you would attribute to brain issues were actually just as prevalent in people with whiplash or neck injuries. And so the fact that you had a neck massage and now you feel crazy sick and crazy lightheaded, that's actually a good thing. That's actually a really good sign because that tells us that whatever they did to your neck provoked some things, but also the symptoms that you're experiencing came on way stronger. So that tells you how involved your neck is in this particular condition. So I would encourage you to go back and do it again and do it more and do it more because there's obviously a problem there and it's obviously causing the symptoms that you're experiencing. So once you get that figured out, each time you do it, and I have to explain this to my patients a lot all the time as well because we'll start in, we'll go through the process and figure out what's going on with them and we'll get to the point where we realize that this is actually a neck issue and then we'll start working through the treatment on it and after the first session, I'll often either get an email or a phone call being like, oh my God, I'm so much worse right now. Like I'm so dizzy, my headache has come back and all these things. And that actually, that's a good sign because that tells us that just by playing with your neck, we've provoked some of the symptoms you've been experiencing, which tells us that those symptoms are actually neck related issues. And once we kind of clean that up and get through that process, the next time I treat you, you're not, as, you're not as bad afterwards. The third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, now you're just building on that progress. So the fact that you had some symptom increase after that tells me that there's a big neck issue to what you're experiencing and you should be going back for further treatments to try and release those tissues and try to help you along because after the next one you won't be as sore and you'll actually start to improve and feel better and better and better but it takes a few sessions of doing this oftentimes patients will make the mistake of stopping because it made them worse and that is actually the wrong approach because now you won't you you won't fix the issue that's that's there and so don't be afraid go back continue with the treatment i would say